What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Book and Book Lodge and today we're going to be climbing the inside of these doors. I didn't go much of this one. I tried to but the video didn't come out that good so I'm trying to make better videos for you guys so you guys aren't so bored. But yeah, we're going to get these primers from the u pool primer. Uh, do this side and then later on during the week I'm going to flip them over, prime the other side and then we got a block stay on that side. And hopefully get them painted this weekend. That's what's going to be in this video. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's get this stuff uh, primed and painted and uh, see what it looks like. So we got some u pull prime on it. I thinned it out a good bit because I'm just gonna try to scuff this up with a red scuff, red thing. What do you call them, Morgan? Do you know what to call them? I'm picking the red things that's scuff. It's like 600 grit sandpaper, people say. But that's what we're gonna try to do to those and then we just gonna paint them. I'm gonna leave them like this today, Sunday and see how I feel tomorrow after work because I'm still kind of sick. I'm going to uh, try to uh, prime the other sides of them. And then we can let that sit for a day and then set blocks in it. And if it needs primed again, we can hopefully do that on Wednesday or Thursday. And then they should be ready for paint on the weekend. So maybe I could uh, paint one of the sides on a Friday and the other side on a Saturday or Sunday. See how it works out. We should be able to get it done though. But yes, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get this stuff painted, the doors at least, and we might get the inside of the truck primed in this video. I don't know yet. But uh, we got some videos coming on the Mustang and Eclipse. I'm gonna try to buff the paint out on those if you guys are interested in that. That'd be in the next few weeks or so. I'd say wait and see, Morgan. Pretty much got everything to do it. Just uh, waiting to get some free time. But yeah, see you guys for not not see you guys for the next one. See you guys for the next clip. What's going on, dudes of YouTube? So, yeah, we back. Nothing went as planned. Uh, I was supposed to already have these primed, but I got sick even more and just didn't feel like doing it, to be honest. So we're going to mix up some primer here in about five minutes. I'm going to spray it down. I'll probably do two coats definitely on these doors, uh, this side of the doors, because there's a lot of filler work on them. And then uh, we'll get this done, let these sit. I'll probably start standing inside of the cab. So let's get to it. Uh, I'd like to get these painted by this weekend definitely this time at least one side of them but yeah stay tuned uh please like comment subscribe don't forget to share the videos and let's get some work done We got one coat down. I'm gonna do one more and then call it good for the doors. But it actually went down pretty good. Uh, definitely, we might have to do three because you can see all the filler work still. Uh, you're probably gonna see it just soaking it up. But I gotta let that dry a little bit, 10, 15 minutes. I'll put another one on it. Maybe, maybe two more, we'll see. Four coats of the U-Pool 223, I think it is. Primer, something like that. You know, U-Pool filler primer. Uh, four of them on this. We got some imperfections we're going to have to sand out. These are going to take probably a day or two to dry, to be honest, before you can sand them because of the humidity. Way too uh, humid today. Good thing we didn't have no paint to do because we have not been able to get it done. But uh, we probably got a lot of orange peel like we did at the fenders, which I'm going to try to fix that by wet sanding it out. You guys will see that in a month or two whenever the trucks go back together. But yeah, that's the doors. Now I'm going to work on uh, sanding the inside of the cab down uh getting this ready for primer i don't know if we'll prime this today or not we might get to it depending on how uh much i can get done how fast and then we'll hop back on the doors in a day or two and get them sanded down and we'll be painting them in a day or two but uh we we jump it around before i start sanding on the cab i want to get this engine on an engine stand so that's what i'm going to do now and then uh, i'll update you guys after i get all this stuff done here in a few minutes, uh, we might actually prime this today. I don't know. You think I could? Maybe we could. Get all sanded. And then clean it. It takes freaking. It took me 45 minutes to clean those doors. 30 minutes at least. It was so dirty, but I had to keep the grease in them, spraying them down. I use this Windex stuff so you don't use too much of the freaking expensive degreaser. Take most of the dirt off with that, and then final I tack cloth, degrease, tack cloth, and then I prime. But yeah. Let me get this stuff down and I'll be back to you guys. It took me about four and a half hours. No, just kidding. About uh, 45 minutes probably. That's good enough for that because it's uh, 
original paint, you know, and I'm kind of lazy, but yeah. Like I said before, I used this stuff instead of all the expensive cleaner at first. So I'm going to get it as clean as I can with that and then use the expensive stuff afterwards to go over it like once or twice. Instead of using, using, using that uh, expensive stuff, it's cheaper to use a lot more of that and then a little of the expensive stuff. Makes sense in my head. Hopefully it does to your guys' too. Or I'm just an idiot. I've got a Chevy worn by thinking he's uh, loud or something. I don't know. Needs to shut up out there. I'm trying to film in here. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, uh, got someone coming out to help me. We're going to uh, clean this like I keep saying and then tape it off and I'll prime this. And probably be it for the day for the truck because uh, we really have nothing else to do until that stuff cures and I can get more stuff done afterwards. But yeah, stay tuned. We're getting it done. I believe wind up seeing these doors painted in this video. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. What's going on, dudes of YouTube? So, as you know, we got the, uh, we were priming this. I, I don't think I showed it, but this is prime now. Interior of the cab. Pretty smooth. I think it came out pretty smooth. What about you? Looks nice. Yeah, it's like my butt when I was born. Nice and smooth. I don't know if that's that smooth. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I had problems back then, so I don't, I don't know. But anyway, we got a freaking, uh, Side blocks in and these I taped off this because I gotta get that body line good uh, hopefully we don't have to reprime these again I do got some spray paint that's like the exact same color and after you let it dry it turns out pretty the same so I did it a little piece on the fender when I went through so if I went through anywhere I might just do that or you have to get little spots of uh, I don't even know what you call it just little little filler but it's not like filler it's like the putty stuff I don't know what you call it but we gotta do a little work to them. But that's gonna be the end of this video because this is kind of boring. And the next video you guys see, we'll be painting these as doing something else, tearing the engine apart. I don't know, come back to find out. Uh, please like, comment, share the videos, and let's go to the channel. I think we're at 755 now, and we're trying to get to 1,000. So I think we only need 245 left. I know mathematician or nothing like that, but I can do simple math. I can count to 10. I'm pretty sure it's 245 that we need. But yeah, I'll see you guys for the next one.